Hi, welcome back everyone. So today we're gonna to do video number two on how to organize your drawers. I know that I already went over um, how to organize your sports bras and bralettes. Now we're gonna go ahead and do tank tops. Also, it's not the funnest thing to organize, I know, but if you can go ahead and do it sometime within the first couple of months of the year, you are definitely going to be successful in your year. Just, it's kind of like one of those things you don't have to do your bed because you're just gonna undo it all over again. If you feel good about yourself and your place of where you rest and how you start your day, usually helps you become very successful successful not only in completing your tasks for the day, I've noticed that it keeps you successful through the whole year and who doesn't want that? Let's go ahead and get started on how to stay organized. Now what I've done here is this was all in, in the same drawer and these are actually t-shirts. So the t-shirts, I'm going to get to them later and then these are the tank tops that you've seen all in the big piles and then these I just put to the back. They are tank tops but they either have strappy strings that I realized that are in a wrong area. I'll have to do something with them. I separated those just off to the side so that you can see what I was doing with this stack here that has the logos so I didn't have a particular order of these because I know if there's a logo that I'm looking for or just kind of want to stay away from depending on where I'm at they're right there I know what I'm looking for but for me what works well is just not wearing the same color to the gym so it looks like I'm wearing the same outfit all the time so I alternate the color and it makes it easier for me to see the tones of the color so let me go ahead and start putting them into their drawer voila they look so nice and organized so again, if you have dark drawers like mine, then maybe you don't want to put a black here. I sometimes find it that it's hard to see the one that's in black or I just kind of miss it, but um, whatever you choose to do. And right here, I've left this space and that's because it's for A, all your new tops, B, miscellaneous. For instance, I'm gonna be leaving right now and I don't want to leave these shirts on the bed, so I'm just gonna toss them in here and I'm gonna get back to it later. And then once I take them out, I'll go ahead and organize the rest of the tanks that I have left. Meanwhile, you can also do this if you don't have any more tanks to fill up. You can go ahead and turn these and maybe loosen some up, but I still feel I have plenty of space in between the tanks. And another thing too is that if you don't have any more tanks, then this is nice so that they keep their ground, you know, they don't fall and tip over and you just have a little more storage space to put something else in. Here is the final product for my drawer for now. So I have all my logoed and then just I alternate here. I have a little space in the middle for my miscellaneous. Sometimes when I grab the one that I think I wanted to grab and then it happens to be a different one, then I'll just stick it here, keep running on and then get back to these later. So hopefully you join me for the next video. We're gonna be moving on to leggings. Till next time. Please subscribe, leave your comments below, and let me know what you think, what works best for you. Maybe you do color coordinate them, and that's totally great too.